go. <laughs> And a very warm welcome to you all as we gather here for online worship together today. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, Rejoice in this new day you have made, and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And so let us pray together. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And the Collect, Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. The reading is from Psalm 28, verses 1 and 2. I call to you, O Lord my rock, do not refuse to listen, for if you keep silent, I shall be like those who go down into the depths. Hear my entreaty as I beg you for help, and as I lift up my hands towards your dwelling place. This morning's hymn. the truth you now bring us shine on me shine on me shine Jesus shine fill this land with the Father's glory they spirit this set our hearts on fire oh, 
And something to ponder. It's a frustrating business. We were on playing chat the other week, or chatting, as we always do. And me, Martin, Leslie and Paul, all connected and enjoying a good chat, when suddenly, on my side, a fault developed over the connection. And although I could still hear Martin, Leslie and Paul, they could no longer hear me. It felt for that moment as if I was talking to myself. On other occasions like this, the roles may be reversed. So that suddenly, me, Martin and Leslie could be talking and Paul can't hear. Both scenarios can find an echo in prayer. One day, we are blissfully aware of God's presence. And the next, it's as though we've been cut off. Either our words heard, unheard, unregistered, or the reply being blocked somewhere. So it was, on more than one occasion, for David. In Psalm 28, he cries out to God, begging him to listen. Patently aware that an answer does not always appear forthcoming. In Psalm 22, his prayer is even more poignant. Oh my God, I cry to you day by day, yet you do not answer, and by night yet find no relief. That was from verse 2. Those who have never had such an experience in prayer are fortunate indeed. Yet for David, this was not the end of the story. In both cases, he ends his psalm with an outpouring of praise an expression of trust and thanksgiving. For it becomes clear that God has not only heard him, but also responded. Remember that if you ever feel that the line has gone dead and your prayers are unheard, the testimony of scripture is that ours is a God who always hears and who will always finally answer. And so ask yourself, have you stopped believing God will answer your prayers? Have you given up praying as you once did? Are you still open to what God might have to say? And so let us pray. Living God, 
we bring to you those times when we call to you for help and you seem to be silent. Those days when we do not hear your voice, no matter how often we listen for it. Help us to understand that even when we feel alone, you are always listening. And even when you seem far away, you are always near. Give us faith to hold on. Courage to trust in your promises. And humility to recognise that your answer will come in your own time and in your own way. May that knowledge sustain and inspire us, whatever we may face. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. And as our Saviour taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The final reading is from Psalm 28, verses 6 and 7. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard my plea. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him I trust with all my heart. So I am sustained. My heart dances for joy, and my whole body gives praise to him. And our closing prayer. Gracious God, draw close to us and help us to draw nearer to you. Speak to us and help us to hear. Challenge us and help us to respond. Infuse us with the wonder of your love. And so may joy and peace fill our hearts, now and forevermore. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>